Okay guys, so today's video is going to be the final part in what I got for Christmas for 2021, right? Okay, so if you're new and you're just checking in on this video, I have parts one and three on my channel. So check those out. You don't have to watch them in order or anything, but I got a ton, a ton of stuff. This is the reason why I had to do kind of like a little mini series here on my channel, which wasn't expected. Um, but <laughs> I finally have the final part. Um, so I'm really excited to share with you because it's been sitting in a box there staring at me since Christmas and I'm finally getting around to film the last part. So here I am. Anyway, guys, if you're new here, please take a moment and subscribe. If you love hauls, if you love plushies, if you love anime, stationery, all that fun stuff. I would love to have you here and let's get into this part four. Okay. And just as a disclaimer, I am in no way bragging or anything like that. I'm so appreciative, very grateful and thankful for all the items that was given to me for Christmas. 99% um, of these items were given to me by my fiance who absolutely spoils me. I'm so thankful and grateful for him. Um, I will link as many items as I can down below. So always read my description if you're looking for a specific item. Um, and if it's not there, I just couldn't find it. But you can also just comment and uh, I will try to look for it maybe on, I don't know, Etsy, eBay, Amazon. Sometimes it'll just pop up randomly just depending on the time. So if you really like something, just comment and I'll try to look for that specific item for you. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into this final part. And I'm so excited because I can finally use these things. Okay, so first two things are like really huge. Let me try to zoom out here. <laughs> They're plushies. Sumiko so Garashi Tonkatsu plushies. So if you don't know, my favorite uh, Sumiko Garashi character is Tonkatsu. Love him. So here he is in all his glory. It's a little princess Tonkatsu. He's got like jewels on his crown and a pink satiny cape. And he's like the cutest thing ever. I don't know where my fiance got this one from. I think Makari actually. Um, I think it was from Makari. But yeah, so there's that one. And then this next one is part of a little like curry collection. So Tonkatsu's laying down and he is so soft by the way and like squishy. He's got a little like brown skirt and a little like beret that has like pearls and he's supposed to be curry. Doesn't say on the tag specifically, but this was like a line of each character was like a different type of curry, which is so cute. And I think this one is also from Makari as well, but I'm so excited to add those to my plushie collection. Um, this next item is actually, I think one of my favorite items that I got for Christmas and it is from walmart.com and it is the Hello Kitty and Friends box set you get five plushies they're like I guess like I don't know six inches around six seven inches maybe um and they are so freaking cute can we just talk about how cute this box is like we have all the cute characters on the bottom it looks like a little cafe sort of and oh, this box is pretty big um and we have some more back here Pom Pom, My Melody, Hello Kitty, Kuromi, and Kuropi. Um, and it's by Mattel. This was actually on sale for $25 at the time. Um, my fiance bought it, but I think it's on the website still for like 30 or 35. So it's not really that much of a difference. Um, but I've seen these being sold on like Macari for like $60, $70. Um, I think it is limited edition. Um, but I'm so happy he was able to grab his hands on one. Um, it is from walmart.com. It is a third party seller, by the way. So you can go to Walmart and like find this in store. Um, but yeah, so we have adorable pom pom, just so cute. My Melody, Hello Kitty in like her traditional like outfit. Uh, Kuromi and Kuropi, which I feel like we don't see enough of Kuropi. I love Kuropi, so cute. But um, yes, I am gonna actually take these plushies out just so I could see them. Um, but then I will be putting them back in the box just because you know it's a box set and I'm gonna display it like that now question is where I'm gonna put it <laughs> I'll figure that out but I love it so so much and I'm really excited that I have this okay moving right along um, oh also I wanted to mention that these items uh, my fiance did get for me over the course of a couple of months he didn't buy them all in December I just throwing that out there so I don't know 
nobody cares. Anyway, <laughs> um, next item he did get for me is this figure, which is from Box Lunch, and it is from Reincarnated as Slime, and it's Ranga. So, 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 so cute. I think, let's see, $26.90 is how much he was. I already took him out of the box, but here he is. Oh no, his tail, his tail fell off. Hold on, give me a moment right here so I can try to put his tail back in. He literally just fell off. Okay, here he is. I couldn't wait, so I had to open him up. But he's so cute. You can see all the texture in his fur. His little tail is the part that came off. It's four pieces, so it has the base, his body, his tail, and his head. But he is so fierce, but so cute. Let me know if you like reincarnated at slime down below. Um, Box Lunch is a great place, of course, to get figures if you're into figure collecting and you don't know, which if you are into figure collecting, I'm pretty sure you know about Box Lunch. So anyway, okay, next up is another box set. This was actually given to me by my fiance's um, mom. She gave me this Olivia Grace Vanilla Almond Bath and Body Care Collection. It comes with seven pieces. Um, so there's a body wash, a body lotion, foaming bath, a hand cream, body butter, bath soap, and this little like loofah thing. The packaging is really cute. It gives me springtime vibes. Um, yeah, so I don't know where this is from. It just says mybeautyspot.com. So I don't really know. But um, yes, I love lotions and body wash and all of that stuff. So I'm definitely going to be using this. And it's like really heavy too. Um, so yeah, she got me that. And then another item is this Creative Clay 48 Polymer Clays um, little kit. It comes with 77 pieces. And this is from Five Below. So this does come with all of this in there. So all different colors of little like polymer clays. They're obviously like not huge, they're small. Um, and then it comes with six beads, six eyelet pens, five clay tools, four ear hooks, uh, four charm danglers, one hairpin holder, one brooch holder, one key ring, one ring holder. So a ton of different things to do, all different types of projects. One of the hobbies I've been wanting to get into last year, I just never did, is polymer clay jewelry making. Um, I've just always liked um, watching those types of videos and just seeing everybody's creations. I think it's so cool and um, I just never did it. But for $5, I think this is gonna be great to try it out and see how it works out for five dollars can't beat it um so anyway i got that i'm excited to see how <laughs> that works out obviously i'm gonna do like very simple designs nothing like hard or crazy or intense um but we'll see how <laughs> that goes okay so next up are some highlighters these are supposed to be mild highlighter dupes um these are by zoski zoski I don't really know but um, they are water resistant and you get a ton of different colors like the packaging looks really nice and you get a wide array of different colors this is from Amazon and I think it was like maybe ten dollars for like this whole pack compared to pretty much almost 30 bucks for the 25 pack uh, mild liners which I do have I bought maybe like mm, I guess like a month or so ago I haven't put it in a stationary haul just yet um, but I will be swatching these in a separate video so if you love pins and markers and stuff like that I will be making a separate video with these and also comparing them to the actual mild liners um, so if you want to see that make sure to be subscribed and turn on your notifications because I normally swatch them and I will showcase them here. But like I said, I'm going to make a whole video for these. So I'm excited to see how they work out. And again, I will link those for you too. Okay, moving along. Um, this one was actually like an early Christmas present. So some items that um, I've shown in this What I Got For Christmas mini series um, was stuff that he actually bought for me like before Christmas, of course, or like he gave them as like early presents because he just couldn't wait of course i wasn't complaining loved it uh, but this was one when we went to kino kunia he's like i'm gonna buy you this christmas you're here but it's for christmas <laughs> um but yeah it's a kiki's delivery service origami set it makes 13 figures of gg kittens and friends which is so cute so those are some of the um designs and it comes with everything here the figure origami papers and the English folding instructions and the GG themed origami papers 
and it was only $12 from Kino Kunia. So I've been super into origami lately, so <laughs> I'm excited to see how this works out. I've been picking up a couple of new hobbies and I love it. I think it's so much fun. It's always like such a hard thing when you find a hobby that you want to do and you're interested in, but sometimes it can get expensive and pricey to start a hobby because you have to buy all these materials and a lot of times people never even actually end up doing the hobby so you spend all this money for no reason and then some people will start it and then just never continue it so i always say just try to look for something as inexpensive as possible and make sure that it's something that you really would want to do um like the polymer clay set for five below like at five dollars like kind of give you a feel if it's something you're really gonna like without having to spend so much money so I don't know if I'll be able to link that. I doubt it, but if you go to your local Five Below, they may have it, so just check it out. Um, so anyway, next item is this mini LED llama. It's a color-changing LED mood light, and it's by Mercury Innovations. I think this one is actually from Burlington, but yeah, it's just a little white llama that I could probably paint if I wanted to. It's five inches tall, no outlet required. Batteries are included, color-changing LED light. I love little lights and I love llamas, so that's gonna be great. Um, next up are some manga that he bought for me from Half Price Books, and it's the Hell's Moving Castle um, set. Now, I got two, three, and four. I am missing one, so I'm on the hunt for number one, then I would have the whole set. These were only $5 compared to $10, which is so cool. These are all in color, by the way. like. a quick flip through of four and then three and then two so cool and they like have really nice weight to them so I'm really excited to see if I can find one and then I'll read them all and I will be putting this on my shelf okay next up are some more gel pens. These are the Zebra Sarasa Marble Color Gel Pen Set in 0.5 millimeters and there's five different colors. So there's like a green going into like a purple, orange into yellow, that kind of thing. Um, and of course it has the infamous binder clip. Um, this was part of my Amazon wish list, and I think this was like $9 maybe for the pack of five, but these are really cool. So I'm really excited to add this to my gel pen collection, and I will also be swatching these in another video. So just make sure to stay tuned for that and like my reviews of, it just became a mini series. Like now it's like an actual series. I have done one on the Crayola brush markers set so if you are a pen marker fanatic check it out um and expect more because i will be doing more but anyway yeah i'm really excited about those and then he also he won these from iCatch actually which if you don't know what that is it's basically a um crane game app um and you can win stuff that are straight from japan so like anime figures keychains plushies different things like that so he got me these three makeup pouches or makeup bags, traveling case, whatever, um, that are Demon Slayer themed. They're not Demon Slayer um, branded, but you can see the inspiration here. So this one is obviously Tanjiro, and it's like a faux leather. That's how it looks on the back. Um, and then I have a Tinjin themed one with all his gemstones, which I think is so cool. And then the next one, I believe this one is... Shinobu, I think. But yeah, it has a wisteria on the side. Very, very cute. And pastel. Um, these are actually really roomy, by the way. So this one's kind of open up. It's like puffy. And there's like a little like pocket here. It's you could fit quite a lot. And then it has a case here, another little um, mesh bag there, and then these three little pockets. Um, you can use them for toiletries or makeup, of course. Um, to store just a ton of different things and it also has a handle which is so nifty so I'm really excited to have these little pouches okay and then continuing with some more eye catch items which by the way these I am NOT gonna be able to find because a lot of the stuff is exclusive to eye catch um, but again I will try to find something on like Macari or you know, 
a third party person who resells stuff. But you got me these purses. The first video I did, I showed you the Nezical version and I love it. But that one he was he gave to me actually like the beginning of December, I think. But here we have a Mitsudi themed purse. We have the Tinjin one, which is very cute. And then of course the Tanjiro. And it does have an adjustable strap. You can like unclip it. They are pretty roomy for like a small bag. And the cool thing about it, it has this little like case in the back to put your phone and it actually works like with a touchscreen phone. So I thought that was really cool. And yeah, so now I'm excited. I can finally use these. I can switch them out. Um, so yeah, he did win quite a lot of those actually. He won like a whole other set that we gifted to um, his cousin. And uh, I think we have one extra one he's gonna give away. Um, okay, and then another item is like another random item from iCatch, but it's this Ri Rilakkuma little keychain. Looks like a little like soda can, but what it is is a little wipe dispenser is perfect and you can refill it and it has Cora Lakuma on the front with cherries and I just think this is so cute so this is going to be very um, handy to have okay next up is this cute Inuyasha wallet it's like a little coin purse but it has Kirara I feel like we don't see enough Kirara in Inuyasha merch but anyway super cute says Inuyasha in the back it's just a little coin purse which I would use as an actual wallet it fits more than just coins. You could put your cards, cash, coins, of course. Um, but yeah, and this is from Box Lunch, I think. Let me check the tag. It, yeah, it is from Box Lunch, and it was ten ninety. So if you're an Inuyasha or a Kirara fan, check out Box Lunch. Um, and then some like kind of spa themed stuff <laughs> that I absolutely love. He gifted me this set of ten sheet masks by Esfolio, a set of 10 different masks to nourish and hydrate your skin. So there's milk, collagen, green tea, rose snow, hyaluronic acid with peach, egg, honey, pearl, niacinamide with black bean. Yeah, so all different types. This is a Korean, it's from, yeah, it's from Korea. So, oh, here you go, the packaging, which are so cute. And this was $6.99 compared to $12 at TJ Maxx. So I'm excited because I have literally two sheet masks left and I always use a sheet mask every Sunday. Today's Sunday as I'm filming this, by the way, it's February 6th and February 7th is my birthday. I will be <laughs> 28. I'm so scared because I'm almost in my 30s and it's creeping up on me so fast. I can't believe I'm 28. Like, I, how am I 28? Like, it, I don't even feel... 28. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure like by the time I edit this and upload it to YouTube, it might be like Wednesday by now, like February, I don't know, 9th, 10th. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, moving on. Um, so he also got me this, um, little spa headband and it is a, my Melody spa headband by the Creme Shop. It's a limited edition and it has adjustable Velcro closures. So it just looks like this, which is very cute. And it's like very soft too. So that's my Melody. And then I finally have a spa headband. It's a plush bow headband by the Creme Shop by Hello Kitty. And it has this like dusty rose bow with Hello Kitty. And it says Creme and it's embroidered. Cruelty free and vegan. Um, yeah, it's a super soft plush headband that holds your hair back and keeps it in place. Teddy bear texture provides maximum comfort, ideal for home or spa use so normally I use like headbands or like novelty headbands whenever I'm doing my skincare routine in the morning and at night and after I take a shower and all that um so it's gonna be great to actually have one of these so I don't get my hair wet um I don't know I'm pretty sure you got this from like either TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something and this was probably like seven or eight dollars same thing with this but this was probably like maybe four to five dollars because it's smaller um, and then the last thing by the Creme Shop is a Hello Kitty sleep mask, and it's a silky sleep mask, limited edition for well-deserved beauty rest, and it has Hello Kitty spaces with crescent moons and stars with the blue night sky, and oh, this is from TG Maxx. This was $5, so I love this, and we get a cute little tag, this is to and from, 
But yeah, indulge in a good night's sleep with this super soft, super cute sleep mask. No need to keep curtains closed as lightweight fabric lays delicately on top of eyes to keep light out. I'm obsessed with this. So I can't sleep without a sleep mask. Let me know if you guys are the same way or you don't like sleep masks. Initially, I first thought sleep masks were so weird, but then I finally used one um, and I haven't gone back since. I've been using them for maybe like two years now. Okay, and last bits are a bunch of like tiny items. Um, so I guess I'll show you the little Demon Slayer plushies. Um, we got these from a Go Calendar store, which is so random, but don't sleep on Go Calendar. If you like anime things or blind boxes or just cute things, go to Go Calendar. And they also have a lot of really good sales I've noticed as well. Um, so these were actually at the checkout um, and they're itty bitty plushies. We have Gyu from Demon Slayer, and this is a licensed product. It's not a knockoff. Um, and this is a sells for outside Japan only. So these are like American produced. Um, we have a little Inosuke ball, Tanjiro, Zenetsu. And they have like little beans on the bottom. And then we have Nesko, a cute little pink ribbon. Um, I think these were like seven or eight dollars each. Um, but yeah, I could see these being keychains, but I kind of like that they weren't keychains because I have like, obviously I love plushies, but something about miniature ones, just, I don't know what it is. They're just so freaking cute and how to get the whole collection. So, um, yeah, I was actually there at the store when my fiance bought them. He was like, you know what? I'm going to buy you this early Christmas present. Here you go. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, next item is from, I know this is from Dollar Tree, but it's a sassy and chic pedicure set. You get seven pieces. It has like everything that I need. Nail clippers, um, little toe separators, a cute avocado nail file, a cuticle pusher, a cuticle cutter, and then a big avocado no fire. This is going to be perfect because I actually need it like pretty much all like new, like a new set um, for my little pedicure. So I'm excited for that. And then these are also from Dollar Tree. They're nail stickers, which I had my nails painted like a teal color. Um, and I want to use some nail stickers now. So because I took off my nail polish. So the first one is by Nelene and it's like a black and white lace and it's kind of like textured a little bit but it's supposed to last up to 10 days and it has 22 nail uh, covers. So that's pretty much like two sets worth, which I'm excited for. And the next one is by Fingers and these are like a silver holographic. And this one, you also get 22 nail stickers. These look like they might be thicker as well. Cause I bought a set from Amazon and I mean, mind you, you get a lot of nail stickers for like a couple dollars. They are like the cheapest. <laughs> They are horrible to apply and once you put it on your finger like there's no going back so if there's any wrinkle it will fall off within the next day so mm, these obviously feel a lot better um and he did buy me these which he said he got them from five below just in case if anybody's interested i know they have nail stickers these are by dashing diva big stone gloss gel nail strips so these are supposed to be way thicker and they're supposed to last a way longer you get 33 nails and three big stones. So there's like this blush pink. There's some like little details, some gold glitter, and then these with the big gemstones. And then those that has like gold foiling. It's kind of like a peach color. So I don't know which one I should put on. I kind of want to put on one of these, but I don't know. Well, I get pretty much two sets with this one. So I guess I could. Okay, next up is, let's see. This lotion, which I don't know where, I think it's maybe from Dollar Tree maybe, I don't know. But it's just a little llama berry hand cream, one fluid ounce, and the llama's so cute. And it's like a little bag clip. So definitely gonna be using this. And um, then the next items, last items are just like washi tape and it's all from like Daiso. Well, except for these two items. Um, so <laughs> my fiance knew that I would love this. It's a little panda um cutter for like seaweed or for nori and it's a panda face you can make like little rice balls and make a panda face there's even a cat version but i am so excited for this i've been into making little bento boxes and trying out different things and i'm horrible at it but I'm, i've been having a blast um and the next thing is a little pig kitchen timer and i don't have a kitchen timer i use my oven but why would i use my oven if i could have a pig 
timer. Like how cute is this? It's necessary. Um, and then the last bits are washi tape. Um, so these are Christmas washi tapes. So obviously I can't use them now, but of course they're gonna be good for this year, of course. Um, so this one you get a four set of gold foiled Christmas washi. I love the Christmas trees there. And then this next set is another set of four, very traditional with the red plaid, the little like winter village. And then this one is also a set of four. We have Santa at the top. And then this one is not Christmas, but you get two and they're die cut washies. These are gonna be great for spring, with the tulips and the sunflowers. I think these are so gorgeous. Okay, and then the last washies are these right here. And um, yeah, so this is part of the dog and cat series. So this one has like little dog heads with the names. And then this one has different dogs. It's a cute little corgi in there. And then this one is the cat version. And then the cat heads. <laughs> that sounds really like morbid, but they're cat heads with the names of the cats. And this next one I really, really like. It's a botanical plant series and there's only one. So I'm like, okay, so then where's the others? Because I need to hunt them down because I love anything with plants on it, anything with succulents. And that's what this has. And it's like a beautiful like blue background. And the last one is this like, like golden yellow and brown plaid print. It's just casual. That's the theme, I guess, um, or the set it comes from. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna quickly swatch these for you and I will be back. Okay, so here are the swatches. Which, oh, doing like the swatches for washi tape kind of takes a little bit of a minute, even though my swatches are not aesthetic. Like there's no like sharp, clean corners or anything, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so here they are, so you can get a better, closer look. The tulip one is so pretty and so is the sunflower. Then we have Santa with gifts and then a little red washi with Christmas trees. And this one with all the fun houses and like a wintry night. And then this one has like pastel snowmen and then the gold foiled with the trees and the houses like the silhouettes, which is cool. And then the Merry Christmas. This one says Happy Holidays, a lot of gold foiling, but I love it. And this one with a little like cabin in the forest kind of thing very pretty and then the next ones look like this so the top one says happy holidays and then I love the red plaid one and then we have again like that it looks like a barn house sort of with Christmas trees and then this fun Christmas tree printed one with like the little stars and sparkles makes it feel magical and then the golden yellow and brown plaid one kind of gives me um like 60s or 70s vibes I guess because of the colors maybe and then we have the succulents which are so beautiful and the cute little cats you can see there's a Siamese cat a Maine Coon and then the little dogs a little corgi a bulldog a pug and then the cats it's a little calico the Siamese again and then the dog faces Pomeranian French Bulldog pug corgi beagle <gasps> Sheba I also like the colors that they use, like the backgrounds, they kind of kept a little bit more neutral. So anyway, all those washi tapes are from Daiso. All right, guys, so that is everything finally in this part four of what I got for Christmas. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I will link as many items as I possibly can down below. So make sure to check the description. Let me know which item is your favorite. And if you're going to be adding any of these items to your wish list to hunt for and buy, let me know. Um, if anybody was able to get their hands on this box, please let me know in the comments as well and let me know what you think about it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm so happy that I finally got this out of the box. It's been sitting there since Christmas and I can finally use them, especially my little spa headbands and my sheet masks and my nail stickers. And I'll be making a video on these very soon. So stay tuned for that if you love markers and pens. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun. A big thank you to my fiance for buying everything for me and for his mom for getting me this cute little bath set. I'm so appreciative. And I'm just so lucky um, to have someone that cares so much about me and buys me all these cute little kawaii things. It makes me so happy. And um, 
look at tonkatsu oh my god i'm in love um anyway guys thank you so so much for watching and uh don't forget to subscribe like comment um tiktok instagram link down below turn on your post notifications and i will be seeing you in the next video very soon uh by the way i do have some aliexpress items that i've been culminating for the past like six months not gonna lie if you shop at aliexpress or on aliexpress you know how long it takes to get items so expect a cute little stationary haul from there and um yeah okay guys and that is it stay safe stay <laughs> kawaii and i will see you in the next video okay bye